Hi, Kat from Standing Stone Kennels, and we are going to do another live video with Rogue. And we are going to be showing you how we start the tracking process. So Rogue is prepping for her Navda natural ability test in which she'll need to track a wounded simulated pheasant that's going to um, run off and then I'm gonna have to bring her up and have her track the path of that pheasant. This is also something that you can work on if you're not prepping for the natural ability test, just in a sense of getting your dog ready for hunting season. Um, there are times that you go hunting, especially pheasant hunting, and you might um, wing one of those birds and they hit the ground running. And we wanna make sure that we can recover our game and be um, good conservationists. So if you can work on teaching your puppy how to use its nose to track, um, you'll have a better chance of recovering that game. And the way that we start that process is by doing a duck drag. We use a dead stinky duck that puts off a lot of scent. We start in a very controlled situation. So we actually have a mode path here. So we will be able to keep the track right directly in the middle of that path. And we've got a controlled situation where I'm going to um, drag this duck only about 30 paces to start out with and then bring my puppy in and show her the scent pile, the feather pile, and get her to track it. And we might have to restart her a couple times and show her the track a few times, but ultimately we're doing as easy of a situation as we can to start out with to build on success. If the first thing I did when I wanted to teach her to track is I get a pheasant out here and I let it run off and then we try and find it and she comes out here and looks at me like, what are we doing? Um, very unlikely are we going to have success and she won't know what she's out here looking for. So to start this process, we'll use the duck, um, then we'll move to dragging a live pheasant, and then we'll actually just let a pheasant run off um, once she gets better and better at using her nose. Not only is the duck gonna put off a lot of scent, but me, even though I'm in rubber boots, walking out on this path is gonna create a lot of scent as well. Um, which, again, really what we're trying to accomplish right now is teaching her how to use her nose to stay focused, direct on a track, and find a bird, find the game. So I'm going to pull a few feathers here out of this duck's breast area. And I'm going to create a little scent pad by rubbing this duck around. Now, it's also important that you remember where you're starting your track so that when I go and get Rogue and I bring her back up here, that I'm not like, uh-oh, where's my feather pile? So I know exactly where this is starting. If I lose it, Ethan's also going to be able to say it's right there. And then I'm gonna walk out 30 feet, leave the duck there, unclip my leash, come back and get Rogue. Um, and it'll be important to keep her calm and focused on this task. So I'll show you how we help keep our puppies calm in this process. So. so you saw when I walked back, I didn't walk directly back on my track um, because I want the duck to be the last thing that she's smelling, not me walking back over that track. So again, I'm gonna go grab Rogue. We've worked on healing. So if I have to flip this easy lead up over her muzzle to gain a little more control and have her stay calm and focused, I'm going to do that. Another thing to keep in mind is we have done a bird introduction with her as well as a gunfire introduction. And she's retrieved birds for us as well as we've retrieved um, some ducks and dead ducks with her as well. So this isn't the first time she's encountering a duck. So let me go grab Rogue and we'll show you the next part. Okay, so we've got Rogue here, and we're going to, um, I've got her hooked up with the easy lead so she's not pulling real hard, because if she's pulling real bad, all she's going to be doing is tiring herself out, and then she's not going to be breathing through her nose, she's going to be panting and breathing through her mouth, and not able to use her nose to smell and track this, um, this bird. So I'm going to take her lead off. Just flip that up out of the way. I've got a hold of her flat collar and it's important that I show her um, the feather pile and we really have not much wind. So keeping in mind your wind is something that you normally would do but we don't have any so we will just bring her up to the pheasant, the feather pile um, and I'm going to flip my e-collar kind of around to the back so it's not dangling down in front of me and distracting her. Show her these feathers. Hey. Look. So 
So I'm gonna call her back to me. Just use vibrate. Again, I'm gonna get her started on these feathers. You saw right away she was pulling, she was right on it. When I felt that she was focused on that feather pile and that scent track, I let her go. So I'm gonna be ready again. Show her the feathers. Take a few steps with her. Look, 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 look. Poppers. So I'm going to take her duck from her, even though she found it. What a good girl. I'm going to hand my duck off to my partner so it's a little less distracting for her. And then I'm going to explain a few things. Clip her back up here. So get her clipped back up so that she can stand here calmly while I explain a few things. So um, I didn't want to do a lot of talking um, and explaining exactly what was happening when it was happening because I didn't want to pull focus back to me and distract Rogue from staying focused on that track. And if you saw, right off the bat, she got on it up to about here. She lost it, got distracted, tried to break off into the thicker cover. Now, obviously the duck wasn't drugged there, so I want to pull her focus back, not let her just break out into a search because we're not asking her to search. We're asking her to track. Once I got her back focused, I didn't necessarily need to go back and start her over. There's plenty of feathers that I can see along this path. So get her started. She again caught the scent. You could see the direct, the focused um, sniffing right along the track of that duck. She went out, again, got a little distracted. Anytime she broke off the path, I just whistled at her, called her back. I tried to go ahead to get to the point where she had broke off that track and just me whistling got her back on the path and she immediately caught scent again and worked it out a little bit farther, worked it out a little bit farther and she ultimately came up with that duck which was great for her first track. That might not happen and I might have to restart her a few times. She's like, there's some of those feathers that we were talking about. Um, and you might have to start them over a couple more times. You might have to walk them the entire length to that duck. It really just depends. Um, this is, um, a really great first track for her. I'd like to see her start at the feather pile and advance all the way to the duck without me having to restart her, refocus her back on that track, um, and then have a success, find that duck, and bring it back to me like she did, which was great. Um, so that's what we're gonna be continuing to work on with her. Now keep in mind, the best way to teach your puppy to track a wounded pheasant is to go pheasant hunting. Now, Rogue's only six months old, we're quite a ways away still from pheasant season, so that's not necessarily going to be an option for her to prep for this natural ability test. But this is going to help get her prepped for it, and then once we've tested her and hunting season starts, she's gonna have a leg up on knowing what to do to track wounded birds, um, and we're gonna take her hunting and she's gonna get even more experience. So let us know if you have any questions. Were there any questions during the video? Okay. Well, if you watch the video and end up having questions later on, definitely leave a comment and we will answer those for you. But make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more training videos. Thanks for watching.